Hi, and welcome to our first lesson in Module 1. In this lesson, I'm going to give you a brief introduction to project management. And we're going to start with this introduction because, quite simply, everything we do with building our schedule is going to be based on project management. So we've got to understand some critical processes that our team needs to implement if we're going to build out the framework of the project to schedule it. So let's jump into the content. So what is project management? Well, it's the application of tools, techniques, and knowledge to meet project goals and objectives. Said differently, we're going to use well-defined processes to plan and manage our project. And we're going to try to achieve the goals of the project, the goals and objectives of the project. What did we seek out to deliver? Next, what is a project? Well, it's a temporary endeavor that creates something unique. It has a clear start. And more importantly, it has a well-defined definition of done. We all have to understand what done is. The team all has to come together and agree upon this definition of done. If we don't know what done is, then how will we ever know if the project is finished? We all have to understand and agree upon what done is. And then we're going to schedule the project to go from the start to that definition of done. So the schedule is going to be all of the work required to get from the start to that agreed upon definition of done. Now our projects have goals. There's cost goals, schedule goals, performance scope goals, quality goals, and they're all interdependent on each other. If I want my product to go faster, it's probably going to cost me more money. If I want to save some time in the schedule, I may have to reduce performance or scope, or I may have to increase cost. So they're interdependent on each other. And some of these may be fixed. Management may say, that cost is non-negotiable. You will not exceed $1 million. Or management may say, you have to deliver this by December 31st because we've got to beat a competitor to market. Or performance, it must do this. If you don't do this, the project is a failure. We've got to understand what the goals are because some of them are more important than others. And then we may have to make some kind of trades later on down the road. And if we don't know which ones are important or which ones are fixed, we may make the wrong decision. For example, in that December 31st, if we're trying to beat a competitor to market, well then we don't want to sacrifice time for any of the other three. Cost may be the least important because management absolutely wants to get this product to market before the competitor. So we've got to understand the goals and why they're there. Next, let's talk about projects and operations. And we're going to talk about that because I've worked with a lot of teams that kind of blend the two. But we have to understand the difference because we're going to schedule the project and operations are going to use other types of processes to be managed. We're going to use Lean Six Sigma, process improvement type stuff. So we already said the project is temporary, produces something unique, has a clear start and a well-defined definition of done. Well, operations are repetitive. They're going to go on. They're normal business activities. So projects and operations are different. But the same people may work on both. So in that case there, they can become intertwined. Some projects can lead to operations. For example, we may have a project where we're trying to stand up a help desk. Once the help desk is in place, then the help desk starts basically managing trouble tickets. So the project finished, then operations began. We're going to schedule the project to stand up the help desk. Once that's done, then operations begin and the trouble tickets start flowing in and the staff starts handling the tickets, you know, closing them out. Now, operations can also lead to projects. If we've got the same help desk, maybe it's spending too much time manually tracking tickets. So we implement a project to install an electronic ticketing system. The project starts, it installs the system, and then the project is finished and operations begin again. But now they're using the electronic ticketing system rather than doing it manually. So the operation led to the project and then the project finishes. So they're intertwined. We've got to understand the difference between the two. We're going to schedule the project, not the operation. So define that start to finish, that unique product or service, and that's what we're going to schedule. Now there are dozens of project management processes out there that we can use to manage our project to achieve the goals and objectives. I'm going to introduce you to what I consider the five most important processes. We're going to talk about these throughout this course. The first four are in this module. And then number five, step five here, the rest of the course is all about this. This, this course is about developing a project schedule. So right now I'm just going to introduce at a high level 
these five steps, but like I said, we're going to dig into each one of these in more detail. So step one, we're going to identify the project goals and objectives, and we're going to capture that in a project charter. Step two, we're going to identify the project stakeholders. These are the people, the groups, the agencies that are impacted by the project. Step three, we're going to identify the project requirements. What does the project have to do? Step four, we're going to develop the work breakdown structure. This is the collection of all the stuff, the scope of the project. And then step five, we're going to use all of these first four to develop the project schedule. So like I said, we're going to talk about each one of these in more detail, but if you don't do these at a minimum, you're going to have a hard time managing your project. So that completes lesson one. It all starts with proper project planning. We're not going to develop a schedule without doing some form of project management. We also talked about the difference between operations and projects. We're going to schedule the project. We've got to understand where the project is and how it's different than the operations. We introduced project goals and objectives. We've got to identify what they are. These are basically going to define the boundaries of the project. All the work we do is going to be within the confines of these goals and objectives. We also talked about defining what done is. How are we going to define done? And we want to get everybody in agreement. We all have to understand and agree what the definition of done is. And then finally, we want to put that on paper and hopefully get it signed because this is, this is setting the structure up of our project that we're going to schedule and manage. So that completes lesson one. You're ready to jump into lesson two where we're going to give you a brief introduction about the project schedule.